Hello guys, KP Shamino here and in this guide I'm going to show you guys how you need to catch the trophy muskie. There are two very good positions that you can use in Michigan. So I cannot say to you guys anymore what path you need to go because you can run all around the lake here. So here you can see the trophy muskie. It's still the same, an insane amount of experience. And it's a little bit harder now to get him because you need to watch what setup you got and all that stuff. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys where I am at the moment. So let's keep this fish. Okay, let's have a look where we are at the map. So you can run now all around Michigan Lake. So I'm here at the moment. So if you want to go to this uh, place that I am at the moment, just go over here. I will show you guys. So just go over here to the woods and the eastern bank. Then you need to run. Yeah, of course, I'm not going to, to teleport now to here because I'm already here. So let's do it again. So let's go first to here. Let's go back to here. Okay. So what you need to do is you just need to go to the right. You need to keep running and running and running. It's a little bit that you need to run. And it looks really cool here now. And yeah, it's, it's really cool that you can run everywhere. So that's uh, always nice. So we are almost there. So for the guys that already see where I'm going. So there is the dock on the other side. And it's just in front of the dock that you need to be. So there is the dock that we started in the past before the patch. If you teleport to this path. You always put uh, stand on the dock or on the shore. That's the side. And where you need to throw is, you need to throw over here. So this is the area that you can catch a muskie and that you can catch the trophy muskie too. Okay, let's go now to the other spot. And the other spot, a lot of more people know that spot because it was always a trophy spot before the patch. It was everybody was standing there on the shore or even I think some guys stand on the dock and you needed to throw here in this bay. Therefore you cannot go in the bay from here I think because the trophy is all sitting there on the lilies and on the weeds but you cannot reach it that well because they put like a wall of reeds around it and I'm a little bit stuck at the moment so I think I need to go around here yeah. So. Yeah, we are running now to the other spot, so it takes some time to run now, so I cannot just uh, teleport to that spot. I probably it was better that I took the teleport to the other pack, but yeah, a little bit running is never bad for the condition. So what you need to do here is you need to stand over here because you need to get in the bay. And the main problem was that the most muskies were a little bit to the left here for the guys that know. So you had lilies, you had reeds, and then you needed to cast in that uh, cone. So now you need to do just the same. So you just need to stand here and you need to throw over there. Okay, that's the position that you need to do. So let's have a try with the crankbait that I'm using. So let's have a throw. I'm not going to cast that far because I'm going uh, with the heaviest gear, with the heaviest uh, line, and I'm uh, using a casting rod. You can use a spinning rod and or a casting rod, but the casting rod is a little bit better. Why is the casting rod a little bit better? Just because it, it's uh, heavier, the rod, than the spinning rod. I will show you guys in the meanwhile. So that means that you can go with the highest line, that's 0.21 pret. On a casting rod without the chance that you break the rod. If you go do that with the spinning rod, it's a chance that you break your rod. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, that's uh, that's a northern pike because I'm already out of the time zone. Okay, so you got two spots. One over here, and then the other one is straight to the on the other side of the dock at the right of that weed. I think that you can get them on the left too because I think they are just sitting under the weeds. So that are the two spots guys. So now the most important point about this game is the setup. It's now so so very important uh, that you put a right setup because otherwise you break stuff. So I made two 
uh, setups for you guys. So the first setup is the casting setup, the one that I'm using at the moment. So it's the heaviest you can go in the game, simple. There isn't anything heavier than that and that's what I mean with the casting rods are better than spinning rods. So the lane line weight that the casting rod can handle is 5 to 17 kilograms. If you check the spinning rod, the heaviest, it's only 4 to 9.5 kilograms. So that means that you cannot go with the breadth 28, uh, 0.28 on this line. Because you got a chance that if the fish goes away and you're uh, out of line, that it breaks your rod and your reel. That's the most important about that system. So I'm going to fish with this setup the whole time. Why? It's a little bit easier. I can just go heavier on the musky to get him in. And it's a lot easier too. You guys will see after the movie I got two uh, trophy muskies with the crankbait. And with the Shed 42G80. Okay, so here is a setup. I'm using the Galaxy Cast 216. It can keep a line, so a fish weight of 5 to 17 kilograms. Then I'm using the Cyclone 5500. It got a max drag of 16 kilograms, so that's all nicely in the weight of a trophy muskie. And then I'm using the Brett 0.28. Brett 0.28. It can keep, let's have a look, let's have a look at the top, it can keep a weight of 13.6 kilograms. So that's nicely. It's nicely under the limit of my rod and under the limit of my reel. So that means that my reel uh, is not going to break, my uh, rod is not going to break, it's my line that breaks first. Because the main problem is, even with this setup, sometimes the trophy muskie goes away. And you cannot do a lot about it. The only thing that you can do, guys, and that's a lot of guys are using this technique. The technique is very important too. So you will see after this movie, therefore I got two uh, little movies that I get the trophy in that you guys can see the technique. So what you need to do is, if you get the fish on, it's going to try to get away. On that moment, don't reel in. Just to the right mouse button and just... Wait, wait a little bit until he stops going away and then you go, then you reel in and you go right again with the right mouse button and so on. So don't reel in when he's getting away because he's keep getting away then and he's going to break your line. Okay, that's very important. After this movie you guys will see the technique. That's the technique that you need to uh, use. Okay, so that was it for... This setup, then the spinning setup, I would not fish with it, it's a little bit, uh, f you can cast a little bit further, it's a little bit harder to get the fishing for the simple reason, here you already see it, the line weight can handle 4 to 9.5 kg on the rod. The main problem is that you need to make the setup, calibrate the setup to the rod and to the, the reel. So the reel is 9.5 kg. So if you remember the cyclone, what I just said can 16 kg and the casting rod can go to 17 kg. So you cannot go over that number of 9.5 kg. So you need to go with the bread 0.23. That's 9.1. Otherwise, if you go with the 0.28 on this setup, you are going to break your rod and your reel. Okay, so therefore I'm using the casting rod because it can just uh, push more strength on the fish and it can handle more than the spinning rod. Okay, the distance of the casting rod is a lot shorter than the spinning rod. I will show you guys for a moment. So let's have a look for a moment. So this is the casting rod. So you will see that he's going to throw, I think, 40 or even less. So that's 36 meters. That's with the crankbait 2.5 meters 5.0 hook. Let's have now a look for the spinning rod. He's going to throw a lot further because he got the setup with the shed on it. Look, you already can see it. I will throw in open water. You will see that it goes a lot fast, uh, further. But the benefit of the further casting uh, isn't a surplus against the casting rod. Take it from me, I tried them both. So it's 64 meter that you can throw with it. Okay, so if I uh, 
uh, choose, I would go with the casting rod. You can go to the places really easy. You don't need to make 40 meters and you can handle a lot of more pressure. So it's a, a little bit securer, the casting rod. So go with the casting rod. Okay, guys, for the lures that I tried, so you already can see, guys, the Shed 10 cm G head 42 G8 O hook works really well. It works really well. Uh, so yeah, you can use it after this uh, movie with the catch with uh, this lure. The crankbait 2.5 meter 5O works too. That's confirmed. The spinner 21G 6O works too. So those three I'm sure of that they work. So I guess a couple of other will work too. So that's not really a problem. So that was the position. That was a setup that I guys that I showed you guys. Now I'm going to just show you guys my uh that there isn't changed a lot. It's still a shitload of experience for those trophies. 1415, they gave 140 currency. And that's it. I cannot show you guys more. Oh, I forgot one uh, important thing. The time frames are just the same than before the patch. So it's uh, a cloudy day, it's between 8 and 9 a.m. And between 5 and 6 p.m. And on a sunny day, between 6 and 7 a.m. And 7 and 8 p.m. So the time frames j stay just the same. Okay, guys, that was a movie. Have fun. By the way, guys, uh, if there are diminishing hotspots, so if you're fishing for on one hotspot and you see that you are not catching any more musky, just go to the other spot. I, I did that too. And you get right away some fish in. If you got the diminishing hotspot on the, the other spot, go right away back to the other and just alternate between it. Okay guys, that was a movie a little bit longer than the normal movies because from now on I need to say setups and stuff too. So it's a little bit more complicated but I want to give you guys all the info that you guys can get the fish and that you don't break stuff the whole time. So that was it. Enjoy the two movies that are now coming. And otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. And see you later. Bye-bye.